New at 11, a Pasco County man is in big trouble tonight after admitting that he was trafficking giant lizards from the Philippines to sell here in the U.S. And you may be surprised how he transported them. Eight on your side's Melanie Michael joins us live in the Tampa newsroom right now to explain. This is a strange one. It is indeed, Jenny Keith. Good evening to you both. According to court documents, this guy got 20 live lizards, shoved them into socks, taped them shut, and shipped them as electronics. They're in demand and on the lam, so to speak. Giant lizards taken from their habitat in the Philippines, then shipped alive and illegally into the U.S., sold for big bucks stateside. The mastermind behind this master plan? A man from here at home, in Holiday, 44 year old Akbar Akram, busted for trafficking by the feds. So, what's the deal with these creepy creatures? Are they dangerous? And what kind of havoc can they create? Turns out, quite a bit. They all just don't belong loose in our environment. Eight on your side wanted answers, so we went straight to the source. Longtime local wildlife expert Vernon Yates, who tells us these water monitors can do serious damage to our ecosystem. Because of the way they eat nasty dead stuff, raw eggs and what have you, they have so much bacteria in their mouth that the mere fact of getting bit by one um, or even clawed could lead to nasty infections and so forth. Then there's also the problem of these reptiles running rampant with diseases from other countries. And here's the really crazy part. You'll never see them coming. You got to remember he can climb trees, he can swim underwater, and he can move freely anywhere as he is, and he's faster than a streak of lightning. Bizarre and quite bold, the 44-year-old could receive up to a year in federal prison. In the Tampa newsroom, I'm Melanie Michael, 8 on your side.